Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So, as you guys know, whenever I do a review, I like to do a full review on it, and I like to use it prior to bringing it to you guys, put it through like normal testing that I would use it for, and uh, give you my honest opinion on it. So, um, a few months back, I actually bought a 360 saw. No, this is not the 360 saw. This is the 360 saw. It's the Silky Big Boy. 360. So I've actually been using this saw for a few months. I've done a lot of pruning with it and I brought it out here into this spruce patch to show you guys what it can do. Run it through a little um, live action saw but it is an awesome saw, guys. I got nothing really bad to say about this at all. I enjoy this saw. I like using it. When I started cutting with this at first, I was, it's like no, no other folding saw I've ever had. And I'm honest, I'm, 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 not, uh, I'm not exaggerating. It cuts really nice. The blade stays very sharp. And I mean, I've pruned up my apple trees with this. I've cut up just, you know, things that I need to just cut up around the property, like a few limbs off trees. I was even cutting some lumber up for my bathroom that I'm renovating and uh, I, uh, I used this to, to cut some of the wood because it was just easier than uh, grabbing my circular saw at the time. So, I mean, the thing works amazing. We'll run it through its uh, courses here and I'll show you guys what it can do. But this is the Big Boy Silky 360 foldable saw. This is Silky's second largest blade. It's 14 and a half inches. It has a rubberized grip really really comfortable as you know a lot of circular saws or sorry a lot of folding saws they have this groove right where it folds into obviously and it gets uncomfortable when you're gripping your, your skin kind of gets pinched in it and it's really uncomfortable but this is this is rubberized right in through and so when you got it in your hand you don't even really feel the groove it's it's actually really comfortable the the grip is a little I wouldn't say tacky but your hand really sticks to it so you don't have to worry about it slipping it's a it's a good saw some of the features that I like about it, well, obviously the first feature is it folds. It's a foldable saw, that's what it's supposed to do. But it has different areas where you can change the angle of the saw depending on what you're doing. So if I need to grab it, grab it and lean into it a little bit to something maybe a little closer to the ground, I can set it at this. If I'm working with something that's off the ground, I can set it like that. So it's an amazing saw. I bought this one from the Newfoundland Knife Company and uh, I paid about, I think it was about 85 bucks for it, but the link is right here for their website and I'll put it in the description as well. I'm not looking to be sponsored by anybody for any of this, I just want to give you guys an honest review. So I reached out to uh, the Newfoundland Knife Company and I asked them if they would like to provide a, a promo code and uh, they said they would be more than happy to, so you guys could get a little discount on this and buy one yourself. But um, awesome, awesome little saw. Has a little eyelet there for, uh, you can put a lanyard on it or whatever. But uh, good saw, pretty lightweight. Doesn't weigh much at all. But the teeth on this one, it is the large teeth. And this is the type of saw you would want for these type of trees. When you're dealing with spruce or uh, pine or anything that has a lot of pitch in it, a lot of sap. Um, because if you have teeth that are too close together as you're sawing through the tree, uh, the, the shavings and stuff get gummed up in there and you, you lose some of it, right? But this here is really good even from like high pitched trees and stuff. It'll saw through it, it'll throw the shavings out. It doesn't get gummed up much at all. Not enough to make a difference or change its effectiveness. Give this a quick little saw, see how it works. Wow, that was, that's too rotten. Um, let's find a better tree. So this tree here is very much alive but it's a small tree, it's not doing good, it's half dead. So we're going to saw this one off. And I'll just limb a few of these just to show you guys too. Now this tree's a little flimsy, so I'll have to brace it one hand. You can limb a tree real easy with this. So. We'll try doing it now with uh, two hands. <laughs> that was like 
two strokes and I'm halfway through this tree that's, you know. That's it. All right, so this tree here, this is a pretty big tree. Real tall, I mean, decent size. This would be something you'd build a big structure out of or something, right? So we'll, uh, we'll cut this one. It, it is dying, so that's why I'm not too worried about it, but it's a decent size, so we'll put this one to the test. The tree is leaning that way a little bit, so we'll cut on this side. And I'm not speeding this up, this is all real time. It's like so little effort. That's it. She's hung up there. Now. Look at that. So this tree, very sticky, very tacky. So a lot of pitch still in this one. If you look at the blades, pretty clean. Not a lot of gummed up pitch in there and what's in there kind of just falls out because of the tooth design and how large they are. So we'll just cut this one again. We'll cut a little disc off this one. Look at that. Nice clean cut. Do it again with some close up footage so you guys can see how easy this blade just kind of goes through it. And there's a lot of pitch in this. I mean, it is really, real sticky. bad at all see a little bit of shavings that are in there they just get thrown out and just keep in mind that this saw was used for months prior to this like and it shows no signs of slowing down right now it's still very sharp and in awesome shape and I'll be uh, I'm ashamed to admit I actually left it out in the rain one time um, after I was trimming up my apple tree I uh, threw it at the base of the tree as I was climbing down the ladder forgot about it and it rained, no rust, clean as anything, amazing, amazing saw. Nothing but good things to say about it. Pick yourself up one. I mean, they're not, the price point, it's a higher price point than most saws. It's not like your uh, $10 saw you're gonna get at uh, Prince's Auto or something like that. And for my last test, I'm just gonna limb off some of these and clean up this log a little bit. Well, there you have it guys. That's my review on the Silky Big Boy 360 large tooth saw. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Maybe you'll take something away from it. And maybe you'll get one of these. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Amazing saw. Oh, I got nothing but good things to say, as I said before. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it again, guys. And all the information you need to get one of these is in the, uh, the description below. So thanks again, see you on the next one. Take care, bye.